is going on everybody this is striker welcoming you to episode number 10 here of gta 3 so let's go ahead and get ourselves another mission here payday for ray handyman. maria's all tied up at the moment but i'll tell her you called i feel like this is one of those things that we already did because i do remember that statement so what was this mission all about oh i had three minutes and 30 seconds to get to all the phones and stuff okay that's right that's what it was. And then the other one, the um, the K mission, I forget his name already. Ken Is it Kenji or something like that? I mean, probably not. Um, but anyways, maybe it is. I don't know. Either way, his mission, we failed once, and I didn't want to do that again. So, we're out here doing this thing. Now this one, I did not realize that we were timed on the first run. So I've got to, you know, be a little bit more clean in my driving. And attempt not to get lost. I probably should have taken that Banshee, but it's alright. Okay, now we're coming down here, and we're at the first, oh, perfect. Don't get three stars by running over people on the roads. Okay. Get to the phone in West Belleville Park. Right, yeah, see, because I was making Stephen Hawking jokes, and, and said it was probably a little bit too early about that, but, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. Excuse me, I have to go this way now. Alright, so now we have to get over to the park. You dick. It was a nice slide out of it, but still, man, I just got straight up T-bone. Okay. That was a regular stinger, that blue car. Alright, so this is in and around the other side of the park, but I think it's probably easiest just to cut straight through. Because I was messing around with the hidden package over here last time. And I got lost because I didn't know where the phone was. And I'm pretty sure you can just cut through right here. You can. And it's right here all around the corner. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get to the phone on Liberty Campus. And I think we failed at getting to the Liberty Campus phone entirely. I think that's what the end of our mission was. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what it was. So we need to get ourselves back out on the main road. Oops. My bad. Matter of circumstances. Alright, we gotta just keep heading out this way. Let's not get hit here on the intersection. Some pretty solid traffic, I will say. Okay, now we just need to take a left right up here at the construction site. Excuse me, taxi. My bad. Call my lawyer. And yeah, Cowboy Joes are shooting at me for no reason. Okay, now we're down here. It's right here around the corner. And our stinger has seen some better days. Good thing I stole it. Get to the phone in South Belleville Park. Okay, uh, yeah, so I think we failed right out here, or it was like I had six seconds and I knew I wasn't going to get to the next one. So I just pretty much gave up. So I think this is the last phone. Because there's only a minute left, and I know they give you a little bit of leeway in between. It'd also be really tough if you're driving like a bus or an 18-wheeler cab. Also just got a star for running somebody over in front of the cops. So that was a smart idea. 100% super smart idea. Not today, minivan. No one's gonna ruin this mission but me. And that was a regular stinger there. Okay, and then this phone is right over here on our left. 30 seconds. Perfect. Okay, I was gonna say, I hope that uh, the timer goes away. And that toilet block actually isn't all that far away. Sorry, sir, with the banshee. Just go right up through here. To do a slick little 180. That's fine with me. And then he's right down in here. Just kidding. He's right over here. Where the toilets are. And I already got that one hidden package. I don't think there's another one down around here. And again, I'm not 100% sure. There are 100 of those things. You must be Azuka's new errand boy. You got the money? Is it all here? I know what you're thinking. Another bent cop. Well, it's a bent world. Just because I lost a few partners, those suckers from Internal Affairs have started sniffing around. Reckon they can smell me. Well, this city is one big open sewer. But I'm going to need some non-union help. And if you're interested, you know where to find me. So you're a crooked cop, which means I can either find you in the freaking toilets down here in the park, 
Or I can find you at the police station next to all the guys that can interrogate you. We're gonna go ahead and do one of his missions though. Silence the sneak. McCaffrey. He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in which that property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Touch that place. That's it. Flush your mark when you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. Oh boy, this will be fun. Okay, so now I need another car because the stinger that I had, if it's still even here, it is, it's down there. You just saw it real quick. Uh, it's not in great working order, so let's go ahead and not get hit by all these cars and steal this guy's taxi. Thank you. Alright, so we gotta get to the pink dot. It did say torch the place. Now, I don't think I have Molotovs. And I can't really check in the car either, so are we going to pick up Molotovs? Because I know that you kind of unlock weapons as you progress throughout the story mode. It's like why we can't have an RPG right now. It's because we haven't gotten to the point where we unlock it. Okay, so he's up there in that area. Can I just... Can, can I just... That was a little short. Oh, come on. I swear, I'm pressing and hold it as long as possible. I'm pretty sure there's like an invisible barrier. See, we don't we don't have anything with fire. Hey, can we see under the map? Sorta? Slightly? Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get some Molotovs then, I guess. Oh, hey look, a hidden package. All right, I'm going to go to the ammunition and see if they have anything. Uh, otherwise, we're we're kind of stuck. So I'll be back momentarily, and I'll see what I can do about getting some Molotovs. All right, finally, I had to drive uh, <laughs> around the whole freaking map and then still look up a guide on how to get them online, uh, like the locations for them. I don't want to get burnt to death, but I need to make it in there. I've only got so many attempts. Is it just me, or is this not... Just not throwing high enough. How, how, bro? Yeah, that's not throwing high enough. Did did you just kill your homie? Did I just shoot you in the ass and you lived? What? Hello? It was invincible on that truck. What? Okay. Yeah, see, what? what is this? I threw it, like, into my feet. Gosh, I really don't want to go digging for more Molotovs. That's literally the highest I can aim up. Grenades can go further. I'm gonna have to figure out how to beat this because obviously it's not working. So, um, yeah, I'll be back again, I guess. I got it. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm standing on, uh, but I'm standing on something. Okay, now I have to chase him down. Anyways, I have to stand on top of this fire truck in order to get an angle. I read online that the, it's actually really, really buggy if you're not playing, like, back in the day. So, yeah, a lot of people say that you need to go grab the rocket launcher in order to do the mission. God damn it, I keep hitting the wrong freaking button. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to take the time to go find that rocket launcher because it, it's it's quite a trek around. And now my nose is itching, and this cop won't leave me alone, and my car's about to blow up. I think I actually have like a dog hair or something that got stuck up in my nose. Literally anything that could go wrong. Why do you have to lane change there? What is the purpose of your lane change? You're literally pulling up to a red light. Stop lane changing. And here's another cop. And we're back to do another A mission. 
two-faced tanner. I ain't got time for things that are dumb like that. So. Our source in the police has informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car, so we've tagged it with a tracer. Make him bleed. Simple enough. Also, there is a thing that says that you can kind of cheese the mission and park a large vehicle, whether that's a fire truck or a bus, down in front of that garage door in which he tried to escape from. So I'll probably be referring to the wiki. That's what I use on this one. Uh, but I'll probably be referring to the wiki a lot due to the fact that this game is having all sorts of problems. It was something that was not really intended to be played on Windows 10 in 2018, but we're out here to experience the frustrating nostalgia of what old games used to be. Back when, if you screwed up, that was your game, usually. You know, it wasn't, you know, you have a save point every 30 seconds, and if you mess up and you go back to your save point, it was, you have a save point every 30 minutes, and if you don't do whatever you need to do, that sucks. So, do I just have to kill him? Do I just have to run him down in his car? I saw his car there. I feel like it changed colors. Maybe I'm just weird, but it, I, I feel like it changed colors. Now, is he running? He is running. Oh my god, instant four stars. I don't know if we're going to beat any of these missions that we have currently. I think this is going to be one of those ones where we're going to have to go get that rocket launcher. And we're just going to have to get ourselves to a point where we can uh, we can activate that thing and then just blow up his car. Okay. See, I have to I have to dodge incoming cop cars. I have to dodge being on fire. Okay. Here we go. This is at least a, a heftier vehicle. All right. It doesn't look like we're timed, or that there's a possibility of the dude running away. Especially if we keep him, like, relatively close, I don't think that'll be a problem. The mechanics of the cops in this game are, is it's just so frustrating. Like, all they're doing is pushing me around. Okay, if we can get one good hit on this dude, though, it might be, like, half his health. Guys, just drive off the edge of the map, it's fine. Wait, bro, when when did he 360? Or 180? I know my directions, don't worry about it. When did he, again, he just did it, he literally just straight up did it again. Bro, you can't be driving in circles like that. Not today, fam. All these cop cars need to smash into him. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Could definitely be going a little bit easier. That's fine. I gotta remember which way. God damn it, I hit my camera button again. That probably worked. Gonna keep driving. Bam! That was a good hit. That was a good hit. I keep, like, bouncing down to the mini map to check out where he's at. Unintentional to have swerved that way. But it's fine. I will take it. If the cops are gonna help, that's fine with me, man. That was some darn good damage. Now, I don't think I can get down there in the same way that they did. But there is a way down. I just don't remember how to do it. It's, it's like this road right up here. There's another way to get down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, right here. See, this is one of those, like, recalling maps from ten years ago thing. Like, it's possible. Will you guys leave me alone, please? Will you guys leave me alone? Please? Please? Just leave me alone. Just let me drive. If, if you just let me drive, then it's fine. Thank God I've got one of these SWAT team cruisers. <gasps> Don't push me off the edge. Okay. We're good. Don't blow me up either, please. Alright, pushing him off of this ledge was about the best thing that could have happened. Is that him just flailing his arms in the middle of the road? Probably so. And I think there's a hidden package right there, and there is. Those do give you weapon spawns at your safe houses and such, but that's fine. 
I don't need to worry about it right now. Also, I think I got 100 shield when I stole that slot field. Oh my god, just let me hit him! Please! I got the damage needed. I literally, all I have to do is run this dude over to kill him. I'm gonna get bumped. Nice! Don't touch anything. I'm letting everything take care of itself, because I'm not going to back into a cop car and get a star and get trapped with a helicopter overhead or anything like that. Are we good? Kill confirmed, I stole his cash. Fantastic. You know what, I, th I, think, I think this is a good point to end this episode. This was a lot of action. My lord, this was a lot of action. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I almost died. Speaking of the fact that I almost died, there you go. So I almost died. That was pretty sketchy. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and call an end to this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.